I did want to play this uh, real quick. It's about 45 seconds. This was uh, picked off of um, one of Oregon's, uh, you know, every game they put out the recap. This yeah. is from Ducks versus Them is what they call this series. Yeah, and it's... it's it's Weekly. Yeah, it's every, it's after every game. After every game, win or lose, kind of they, a, they put one of these out. Yeah, so promotional video. This is where it would got, I mean, this got big last year after the yes. Utah game and the Colorado game. And, yes. Yeah. So this uh, we just picked this out of there. It's about 45 seconds of Lanning uh, addressing the team after the game. I'm disappointed in the process tonight. Not the result, the process. Process wasn't sharp enough. I'm not going to let you down by saying great win. That's not the way I feel. Hey, they played a good game. Credit to them. Do not discredit anything that they did. But I want to own our standard. Our standard doesn't change regardless of who we play. Who we playing? We playing us. We playing Oregon. So when you play Oregon next week, what's your measure? What you do is you dust yourself off and say, here's where I can get better. Here's where I can make my team better. Every one of you should be really proud to wear that green. I promise you I'm proud to coach you. A great team can learn from wins. Don't make adversity the reason you learn. Can you learn from tonight? Yeah, so yeah. a little taste. I mean, he, I know he said after the game when you mentioned that when somebody asked him, "Hey, what did you tell the team?" He's like, "Well, if I wanted you in there, I would, yeah. I would tell you." So I'm sure there is another part of that that's not that's recorded. not quite as uh, arable. Yep. But you know, it almost sounded like a loss, and and that's where it's like that's where my head goes with it. It's like, look, that sucked. I'm sure if you were in the stadium, I mean, we were getting some texts from people that were there. Were like, wow, that was pucker factor ten. Yep. And it was. That would Absolutely. have been the biggest freaking upset ever. The biggest one, at least, I think. Michigan App State. Yeah, Michigan App State isn't the biggest in terms of point spread, but it's one of the most memorable because yeah. Michigan was like a top ten team at and the time. And it turned out Michigan ended up not being very good. You know, that's they, they actually lost like three or four games. But they were fifth in the country when that happened. Well, they were number five, and then they lost to Oregon the next week. That's when Oregon went in there and beat the crap and they out housed of them. them. Oregon, yeah. Oregon smoked them in their house. Did you know that Michigan that year ended up winning the next eight games? Yeah. They, and they rolled after that. And they beat number twelve Florida in a bowl game. Hmm. So they actually ended up being a pretty good team. It's just I think um, they lost a couple more than that, but yeah. That's... Yeah, they went eight and well, at that time I think it was I think they went eight and three and then they won a bowl game. Okay. But anyway, um, did, 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 what was I telling you? We were just talking about landing and... Well, I just think it's good that you have the... Like that... I, I don't know. I just go to the silver lining. And, yeah. and the silver lining is like, you won the game, it sucked, but it's caught their attention. Yep. So and they I'm, better be good. Now, if you see a lot of the same stuff against Boise State, now you're starting to go, well, wait a minute. Well, if you see a lot of the same stuff, Boise State will beat you. What the hell's going I mean, on? Boise State's a much, no, but, much better team. I mean, but what if... They are. I mean, they're getting votes for the top 25, but what yeah. if you win the game and it's not that pretty? Yeah. I, you know, I, it's like yeah. we need to... We have a different conversation next week, but um, I have faith in the coaching staff, and I just think... I really think that as loaded as this team is, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I, I kind of like the fact that it's... <laughs> they have their attention already. Sure. You know, because well, you could easily sleepwalk through these. And the other thing, games. the other thing you can like is your defense. The defense deserves no blame. The defense was great. The defense was absolutely dominant in everything that you wanted it to be. And the offense uh, put up great numbers. They just didn't get results. I'm telling you, when you watch the film, it's not as bad as people are making it out to be. Totally get the pucker factor. Inexcusable to have a game that is basically a one possession game with eight minutes left against a big sky team. But I'm telling you, it's not as bad on film. And these things do happen. It's correctable. And as long as it moves forward from here, this thing can get put in the the distant uh, past. But that Boise State game, to me, takes on a whole new meaning of what I'm looking to see. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you what. starts with one thing and one thing only. Run the damn ball. Yeah, it's interesting. Like I remember I was sitting there watching them thinking, God, you remember the days when – these games weren't necessarily gimmies against Oregon and Oregon State. You Absolutely. Know? Remember, was it Eastern Washington would go and beat yep. Oregon State? And well, they beat Washington, if I'm not did mistaken. Did they beat Washington? I think they beat Washington. And then Oregon lost to? Uh, well, Oregon hasn't lost to one of these in a while. But, like, Sacramento, well, I... Sac State beat Oregon yeah. State. Well, yeah, I think Oregon lost one or two back in the I'm just saying, like, back yeah. in the day, yeah. these games were, like, should be wins, yeah. but also would oftentimes come up like, what the hell just happened? Yeah. Whoops. But it shouldn't be. The that's the here. worst. Th that the feeling here is yeah. that man. That should be as talented as Oregon is. That those days should be over at yes. least for Oregon, and yes. they weren't. And that that's yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Yeah, you should not be a top eight talent team in the country and be in that game with Idaho. You shouldn't. They don't have the Jims and Joes. And honestly, they didn't have the X's and O's either. I, I, it's just it's one of those weird. 
weird, funky games. And we've all been a part of you play the game long enough. You're a part of them. And luckily <laughs> we're not sitting here being like, Oh my God, we, how did we find a way to lose that game? We're saying, how did you, you know, you found a way to win. And ultimately that's all that matters. All right. College football week one onesie is coming up next on the fan.